Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be spending literally the whole day. I had the whole day plans for making new samples for my Etsy shop. So I'm going to be making some new bell bottoms um, for Halloween and just for like birthday outfits. And then I'm making a ton, a ton of shirt samples. So I have some fabric that I'm going to show you guys that I got for these samples. Um, and for the bell bottoms and then um, I'm gonna show you the designs that I'll be working on and um, we're just gonna have a very productive day of making samples because um, today is probably the only day I'll be able to have time to do it because during the week I'm gonna be working on Etsy orders I don't have a lot luckily I've been able to maintain them and like keep up with them um, I think I only have nine open orders right now, and I think only one of them has to go out in like three days, so the rest I have a while before I have to get those out. So I'm going to use this day, make as many samples as I can, um, because one, I don't have a lot of Halloween samples up. Thanksgiving, I don't have any new Thanksgiving samples up. I have stuff from last year that sold really well. I'm hoping that those will also sell really well this year too, and then any of my new stuff, hopefully those sell really well as well. Um, so I have a quite a bit, so I don't know how long this video is going to be, so if it's a long one, I'm so sorry. Um, I actually have been enjoying making these really long videos. Um, it's hard to fit a lot of content into a 20 minute video. I know probably most of you guys prefer a 20 minute long video, but, um, it's really hard to cut out footage, so brace yourself, probably, for a long video. If not, um, lucky you. <laughs> But I'm gonna just get to work. I stayed up till last night, till 2, no, I stayed up till 1 a.m. last night editing a lot of the designs. I have one HTV and the rest are all, are all embroidery designs. So I'm just gonna hopefully try and bust out all the designs. Um, I'm gonna probably just use my buy multi-needle because I don't really want to fuss with the single needles. Um, just because they've been driving me, driving me bananas lately, just having to do all the thread changes and all that stuff so I'm gonna set up my machine to where I'll do most of all the designs will use like the same color so I won't have to change out any um, thread colors on my by multi needle but I kind of just want to set the machine and let it do its thing because um, I have a lot of sketch designs so no appliques so luckily with those shirts I can just set them up and let the machine do its thing. I don't really have to lay down any applique fabric. So um, I think I have like three of those. So I'll probably start with those and then do the appliques. Um, just because it's the morning time. Usually in the morning after the kids eat breakfast we go outside and play. It's the weekend so um, I do want to enjoy some of my weekend with my kids just because during the week I work a lot. So. Family time is really important to me, so I'm going to try and squeeze in family time on top of trying to work on all these samples. So that's probably why it's going to be like an all-day thing. Um, and here I am, just, I keep rambling. I haven't even started on what I need to start on, so let's just get started. Let's start with the fabric. Okay, so I have a lot of birthday outfits planned. Um, so if you guys follow my channel, you guys know that my donut um, bell bottoms, along with all the donut shirts that I have paired with it, or like my number one seller so I want to use today and make as many birthday outfits that I have I have two new fabrics that I bought and I haven't even used yet so I have two bullet fabrics I'm gonna be making bell bottoms with today I have a cow print and this cute like rainbow animal print I actually didn't have any time to design a um, design to go with these with this fabric so I'm just gonna make the bell bottoms today and I'm definitely gonna be making a part two because I have a lot of outfit ideas and I'm not gonna be able to finish them all today so I'm just focusing on like the Halloween stuff since that needs to get up like now but I'm gonna make the pants for these today I have a few birthday outfits planned for this cow print I tried to find like as many cow designs as I could find because I have a feeling this is gonna be really popular so I have a bunch of cow designs with that to kind of go with that print, I have I have this cow print. I got this from Joann's. Um, I think I got like two yards of it because I'm also going to be offering a cow baby blanket to go with that because my farmhouse baby blanket is also really popular, but I'm so tired of doing that little farmhouse applique design because it takes forever. So I want to try and find another design that will be just as popular but not as time consuming. So I got some buffalo plaid colors. Um, 
I'm going to be using these for some pumpkin designs and um, some boy boyish designs. So I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this yet, but I have an idea for this one. I got this really cute, like, speckled um, fabric. It's just like a white and purple speckled um, design. So I'm thinking I'm going to be making a cat with this fabric. Um, I got some yellow and orange because I have some candy corn designs planned out. So I have some of this fabric for that. And then I bought a bunch of knit fabrics from Joann's to make some bell bottoms. So today I'm going to be definitely making some bell bottoms for this. I have a cat applique design. I think I have a couple that are going to go with this pair of bell bottoms. And of course with the candy corn, I have this to go with it. I bought this avocado fabric because I just love avocados. So um, I don't know what I'm going to make quite yet with this. I might make bell bottoms, um, but I'm also thinking some just basic, basic leggings. Um, but I'm probably not going to do that today, but I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I also got this fabric too. I probably won't make these today, but um, I found a cute applique design that I'm going to do with this. Um, but I still need to get some more fabrics to go with this one and with this one. So that's why I'm not going to do them today because I still need to go get some applique fabrics for these two prints. And then I got a Jack and Lantern um, print as well. So I'm going to be making some samples with all this fabric today. So um, I still need to pull some more fabric um, because... I have a lot of designs that I have planned, and all this fabric is just an addition, but I still have some other fabrics I need to pull and use for these designs. So let me pull those real quick. Oh, I also got this fabric too a few weeks ago. I just haven't done anything yet. I'm probably not going to make anything to sell in my shop with this fabric, but I bought it um, probably like two months ago because I want to make myself some scrunchies out of this fabric. I thought this was cute. But I'm just pulling some other barn fabric that I have because I'm going to offer some number shirts and I want to have like as many fabric choices as possible. I just have some cute pink polka dots and some cow print. I actually need to restock on that cow print. Uh, I'm also just going to grab a basic white and this textured black. Um, I think that should be good. I'm going to go ahead and move this fabric now because I need to start cutting and then I also need to cut the sample fabric that I use to do the samples on. I need to cut a bunch of that so I have to cut the fabric for the bell bottom um, and I also need to cut up pieces of fabric for to do the samples on so let's just start cutting. Cutting is like my favorite thing so I'm going to start cutting some fabric. And then I'll meet you guys out in my work area. Currently I'm in my fabric room, but I'm going to take all this stuff once it's all cut and ready out to my kitchen area. That's where I have all my machines set up. And I'm going to work in there, but let's just get started on cutting some fabric. <laughs>
Okay, so sorry for the bad lighting, but I'm all done cutting the fabric for the bell bottoms. Now I just need to cut the fabric for um, the samples, and I'm going to be using white, black, possibly gray if I have it. But I'm going to be cutting my fabric basically into the 15 by 15 inch squares. So I'm going to do that now, and then we'll head out to the kitchen. Everything's cut, so now we can start working. So. I'm gonna grab my Mighty Hoop and some cutaway stabilizer. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna start with this design first. Now this doesn't look much different once it's loaded onto the machine, but I'm gonna do this black cat and I'm kind of tempted, tempted to do this speckle one, but this shirt's gonna be going with these pants. So I don't know if I should do a speckled one or just do like a textured black. I have another black. I also have this black too. So I don't know which one to use. Down in the comments, let me know which one you would have used um, for this design. I'm thinking I might just, I could do two. Um, I'm thinking I'm really tempted to do this one. I think I'm going to do this one. Even though the purples don't 100% match. I still think it'll look cute together. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one onto the machine. Um, I already have the hoop all loaded up. I just need to upload the design and switch out a few thread colors. Okay, so my Mighty Hoop was too small for this design, so I switched it out for one of the green ones. I hate this hoop. Love the machine. Hate this hoop though. Um, so because I can decide between this fabric and this fabric for the cat, I'm just going to do both. I'm going to do the design twice, but one with this one and one with this one. And I'll just list them both. So, um, since I'm making samples, it's boom, two samples right there with the same design. So, I'm going to go ahead and bust this design out and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done. So this shirt is almost done. It just needs to do the name. Um, here's this one so far. I seriously actually really like how this one turned out. I kind of like the specs on the cat. I think it works perfectly. So I have it all nicely and I have it all folded nicely. I like to leave the cutaway stabilizer on the back because that makes folding um, the fabric much easier. So um, I recommend don't cutting the stabilizer off. Just keep it on there. Fold the fabric up all nice and neatly. And I like to just heat press it so it really will stay folded because I like to keep all my samples in a little bin. My heat press is almost warmed up so I'm gonna go ahead and press this, get that one off the machine and get another design hoop. Okay, so here are the two different style of these designs. So this is just with the plain sketched black and this one has the polka dots or the splatter on it. And honestly, I really like both of them. So it's just gonna depend on the customer and what they prefer. I think this one goes, matches better with the bell bottoms, but this is like a nice little pop to the bell bottoms. So um, I really love how both of these turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and get another design up onto the machine. So to make things a lot easier for me, I am pre-hooping um, my hoops. So this one's hooped already. I need to get this one hooped. And then I have this one hooped. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up another design and bust out another shirt. But while I'm eating lunch, I'm still gonna have my machine running. So I'm gonna upload one of the sketch designs that I have. So this is one of the sketch designs. I'm actually gonna do this design twice. I'm gonna do it to where the, it's kinda hard to see, but these are um, candy corns. But the pumpkin, I'm gonna do one in like an orange and black. And then the other one, I'm gonna do a purple and black. And then the name is really hard to see, but it's just like a 
a bean stitch for a name. So this one has no applique. Basically, I just set the thread colors and I just let the machine do its thing. And I'm gonna run this design twice, but just make those um, color changes to um, the design. I need to trim the threads on this one I have a few little hangers but here is the purple version and then here's just like the orange version and this is gonna pair up with um, the candy corn bell bottoms I have a bunch of different candy corn designs that I'm gonna offer and all of those will be matched up with those bell bottoms so it'll be a nice little combination um, gives my customers multiple multiple options for shirts but also gives them an option too to pair it with a pair of bell bottoms. So I got these two done, these two are done. Now I'm gonna get started on just that basic jack-o'-lantern design. This is gonna be paired with um, jack-o'-lantern jack bell bottoms that I have too, but I'm gonna do a girl version of that. Um, and I have a boy version and a girl version of this, so I'm gonna do this fabric for the pumpkin. And then for the girl, I'll probably add a purple glitter bow is what I'm thinking. I haven't decided yet. But I'm gonna do the boy one on a piece of black fabric um, for the girls. I may also do a black fabric too. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna offer both options for them to give them a choice, but for the mock-up, I'm not sure what I wanna do. I'm thinking black would probably work the best and kind of make it pop a little bit but I just love to just a simple white so I think I'm gonna go with black for the boy at least and then I haven't decided yet for the girl if I'm gonna do black or white for the shirt but I'm gonna go ahead and get these started and heat press those two designs so they're all nice and folded just like these two I do need to get started on the bell bottoms but the kids are playing outside right now with my husband and I kind of want to go hang out with them so I'm gonna get this design started go hang it outside and then once this one's done, I'll put another one on the machine and can just let it do its thing. Um, and then once my boys are ready to eat and like settle down for a bit, that's when I'll do the bell bottoms.
Okay guys, don't mind the tired face and the crazy hair. But it is around 10.30, um, the kids are asleep. Um, finishing up my last shirt for the night. I wasn't able to get through, I think, two or three of the shirts that I had planned. Um, but I do plan on doing a part two to this. I have so many more designs planned, um, just not enough time in one day to get them done. So I'm finishing up my last shirt and I'm gonna go ahead and now and finally get started on the bell bottoms. Um, it was just too busy of a day with the kids to be able to sit down and actually get some sewing done. But um, let's head over to my serger and let's bust out these bell bottoms. I think I have four or five that I have to do, but they shouldn't take too long to do. guys so this is what I was able to accomplish today it's almost midnight so I didn't get all the designs that I wanted to get done but I feel like I got a good amount so I'm gonna spend the rest of the night um, just quickly taking some pictures of these items so I'll just do like my birthday outfits together I'll take some pictures with the different t-shirt designs with the bell bottoms and kind of mix and match them so I have like multiple listings but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take some photos of these, and that'll probably just be the end of the night. Okay, well that's going to be it for tonight. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna be doing a part two because I still have like a long list of t-shirt designs that I wanna add to my shop, like for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, a bunch more Halloween ones, and just a bunch more birthday designs as well. I also need to do some mock-ups for baby blankets. I've been procrastinating forever to get those done. So um, definitely stay tuned for a part two and probably a part three as well on making new designs for my Etsy shop. I'm also going to be filming a video on how I list my items um, because I recently signed up for Sell Samurai. I'm super excited to use this program. I'm gonna show you guys how I list my items and what type of keywords and descriptions and titles will potentially get me more sales 
on all these items. So definitely just keep a lookout for that if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Um, but I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,